wonderful little beans my name is Bee, and welcome back to my channel before we get started with today's video don't forget to leave a like subscribe and click that bell and of course you stack a bee when buying robux or premium today i have very kindly been offered to borrow my friend james's brand new halo the new flowering halo 2024 so that i can showcase it to you guys in today's video so let's go ahead and get started so as you can see this new halo is very unique it has this nice viney kind of design with little diamonds on the front and there's this like dome around the middle it's very very interesting so let's have a look at some of the toggles and explore the halo so if we go ahead and head on over to the halo in my inventory you can see it's called the entwined vines flowering halo 2024 if we open it up you can see we have 10 individual toggles these are the main ones and then features you can turn on and off so you can turn off the gemstones if you want to turn off the flowers if you want to and you can also turn off the floral incantation you can also turn off the butterflies which i think for a, for a different toggle turn off the glow if you want and turn off the glowing lights now the different individual toggles you can have are different sizes and shapes so as you can see you can make it quite small or have it quite large and change the positioning on your head there is actually a side halo position in this one so instead of a back of head halo this one has a side of head halo option so if you want to wear it sideways you can although i'm not sure how i feel about the sideways variants yet it's nothing ugly or anything i'm just not entirely sure how i feel about it i'm gonna go ahead and take off some of the little like flower crowns that i have right now let me just go and take them off so that it's a bit easier for you to see the difference between the halo and my head so obviously as i said you can also take off individual pieces by taking off all these things you can make it very very basic if you want to or of course you can go through and leave it as it is now it has these like incantations as mentioned that just start to appear around the dome whilst you're wearing the halo so do you see how like occasionally we've got these like little flashing bits going around and stuff like that it all depends on the toggle you use but do you see how there's like different shapes and things happening and appearing on it kind of like spells that are being casted it's very interesting i'm gonna go ahead and reset the colors for you guys so you can see how it looks when you get it by default so this is what it looks like by default you can see these like glowing butterflies and little incantations going around personally i think the default colors don't do it justice i think if you recolor it and use say something that's a bit more you maybe understate the color a little bit make them a bit more you know like gentle because i think all the colors in this are very very harsh if you bring them down into a more relaxed color scheme like this i think it looks so much better with those lower colors that aren't quite as intense now it doesn't work super well with hair that sticks up a lot so you might want to change your hairstyle to something that's a little bit like more down below your head and doesn't stick up because as you can see it looks a lot nicer when stuff isn't sticking through it now personally i wouldn't say this is my favorite halo ever i do think it's nice of course i think cheapy does an amazing job always and i'm always impressed by their work i don't think it's a bad halo by any means it's just not my personal favorite i definitely feel like some previous halos have been a lot better but i do think that this is really nice and it's got a really unique design with these butterflies and incantations something very special and unique about it now interestingly you guys james also let me borrow his everfriend halo because i've actually never worn it before for those who don't know i never actually got the everfriend halo before because i stopped collecting halos after the last update and i just kind of decided i wasn't going to bother anymore so now i actually have the everfriend halo too so i can actually see that now this is the first time for me actually seeing it properly in person and i have to say i do like this halo a lot and i think i prefer it over the one that is just out now the entwined one i think this i prefer but obviously it's up to you and the design style and the design choices you want to make with how you want to wear your halos and of course what kind of things you like with your oc everyone's different everybody likes different things and as you guys know i do like a good back of head halo i think right now the halos that i think we would put together for this vibe would be to have this everfriend halo on the back of your head and then if you have it i would personally go and grab the spring halo reuse the same colors and have them together because i think the spring 2022 and then this divine adoration halo go really well together i don't know if i can move the divine adoration halo a little bit further up my head so it's not quite as low down can you go higher you can make it bigger i suppose so you can have it like this i guess floating behind you i think the bigger version doesn't quite go as nicely so i think i would personally rather 
let's just see if I remove this hair clip and then grab the halo. Let's see if what it looks like if it's a bit smaller. That's a bit higher up, isn't it? But smaller. Yeah, I think that looks really nice, actually, those two together, but higher up. I see when it's higher up, it doesn't move. Hmm. That would probably spoil it a little bit then. I think I'd rather have it moving up and down. But yeah, so anyway, it's just a thought that I had in my mind to mix them together. And I thought I would share it with you. But yeah, so there's the brand new halo, you guys, in case you are interested, as I just said. Very, very nice halo indeed. And I think it's very pretty. And I'm sure you guys will like it and like having a look at it. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Don't forget to click that bell as always. And I hope you all just have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for supporting me, as you always do. It really does mean a lot to me. And I'm very thankful for all of your love and support. I hope you guys know just how grateful I am for all the support that you share with me and all the love you give to me. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you soon. Oh, does it not bob up and down? Huh. Bye. Thank you.